Welcome back to Anglicans in Action. Here at Anglicans for Life, we not only recognize the importance of churches and individuals working to protect the unborn, but we also appreciate that in today's culture, we need to nurture respect for those who are on the other end of the life spectrum, the elderly. People over the age of 65 are the fastest growing demographic in the United States. But in our society that worships at the fountain of youth, they are also becoming the most invisible. And with 5.5 million of our seniors over the age of 85, the church needs to recognize there is a large group of people who need ministry, especially as euthanasia and assisted suicide find growing acceptance. This week, we are highlighting an active service that can be done any time of the year, but requires some planning. It also provides an opportunity to foster interaction between our younger and older generations. Anglicans in Action invites you to take children from your church to visit and sing for elderly folks living in local nursing homes, especially during Advent. If your church has a small children's choir or can gather up a group of kids who want to bring joy to others by singing, the rest is quite simple and can be a fun way to get your congregation excited about the birth of our Savior. Schedule a time with a local nursing home by calling their facility. Pick a few songs that a few songs that the residents would be, will be familiar with and start holding practices with the children a month or so in advance. You could even add some simple hand gestures to the songs. Go to the nursing home, lead them through the songs, take some pictures of the performance, and afterwards let the children linger and interact with the residents. If you can't organize a group to sing, take your children along with a few of their favorite books and read to the residents. Simple rhyming stories, books that tell the Christmas story, and books that encourage animated uh, narration can engage the elderly, especially those suffering with dementia and Alzheimer's. In a 2011 study, it was reported that over 50% of nursing home residents didn't have any visitors. You can imagine that during the Christmas season, this sense of loneliness can be even more apparent. To honor the dignity of life, it is so important for us as followers of Jesus to respect, care for, and love those who are so often overlooked by a culture that esteems youth. Serving your community for life by going into nursing homes is a phenomenal opportunity to teach youngsters to recognize that every person reflects the image of God and deserves the dignity that we want to preserve for every human being. For Anglicans in Action, I'm Deacon Georgette Forney. Have a blessed day.